Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to convert um, class object uh, to string in ASP.NET Core and C Sharp. Actually, uh, that question is asking me my uh, subscriber. So just uh, I'm going to uh, give you an example of uh, this types of question. Okay. And that series will be uh, begin from uh, today. So uh, this is the answer. That is the answer right here. So here we have, you know that uh, request URI like that. And here we have a HTTP method that is post. And uh, here I'm using that uh, thing you can use new string content. JSON convert dot serialize object of the course. And what is the course? That is the class. So just I want to convert the course class in the string format by using JSON convert dot serialize object. And just you want to output in the form of the JSON. So encoding UTF-8 application oblique JSON. And just what have uh, what uh, inside uh, I got in the content. Just check it. <coughs> So how to convert a uh, class object to uh, string in uh, C sharp, that is the answer right here. You can see what inside in the content. And here we have course and create and right here and like that uh, me. Okay, just cl click to create and you will see in the content and what actually content message dot content and the content is like that headers okay allow co uh, content disposition is null content length is 21 content language is like that okay and Content encoding is like that. Allow is that. And result view. Uh, content type is a string. Like that. So content type is a string 1. That value value is 1. Application JSON UT of 8. In the form of this result view. In the first. Key is the content. And the value is 21. You can see. Okay. <coughs> Content type is application JSON. Parameters is UTF-8. Name is care set, character set. So here we have the values. Okay. So just I want to uh, just I want to read a, a read as a string that content. Okay. So uh, here I'm using read as a string. So just uh, go for that line. And oops. Uh, actually just I want to convert it first in the form of the serialization so here uh, here I'm using response and what is this response is okay so uh, that is the response version content and content is uh, system.net.http http connection response content and the headers like that okay Okay, so everything is uh, fine. Now after that, just if you want to deserialize that uh, data, just I want to say that object convert to the uh, C sharp. So here I'm using response, HTTP request response, or you can just uh, type it here like that. So just, uh, so that is the output. And uh, by using this line of code, JSON convert dot serialize object, so convert that uh, object into the string format that then you can use JSON convert dot serialize object. Okay. And if you want to uh, convert a string uh, into the uh, into, uh, into the class, then you can say that here I'm using JSON convert dot deserialize object. And here I'm using the object name. Okay. Uh, or you can say that class name. And here, uh, here I'm using uh, a string format. So that line of code is used to read 
uh, object data or ejection data as a string format. So that uh, line of code is actually used to convert uh, class object to the string and string object to the class. So that is the answer. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core C Sharp. Thank you very much.